Mars, the fourth planet from the Sun, has long been a subject of fascination for scientists and space enthusiasts alike. With its reddish hue and proximity to Earth, Mars has been the focus of numerous missions and studies over the years. However, despite our best efforts, Mars remains a barren and inhospitable planet, with a thin atmosphere and no liquid water on its surface. But what if we could change that? What if we could transform Mars into a more Earth-like planet, with a breathable atmosphere, flowing water, and even plant life? This concept of terraforming, the process of transforming a planet or moon, into a habitable environment has been a long-term goal for humans. By transforming Mars into a habitable planet, we could create a second home for humanity, and ensure the survival of our species. The idea of terraforming is based on the belief that, humans will eventually need to find new places to live beyond Earth. With the world's population continuing to grow, and the Earth's resources becoming increasingly scarce, it is becoming more and more important to explore other planets and, moons in our solar system and beyond. By transforming Mars into a habitable planet, we could create a second home for humanity and ensure the survival of our species. However, it is an exciting prospect that could open up new opportunities for human exploration and colonization. One of the biggest challenges is the lack of a magnetic field, which means that Mars is bombarded by solar radiation that could strip away any atmosphere we create. Another challenge is the low atmospheric pressure, which would make it difficult for humans to breathe without a pressure suit. Let's dive into the possibilities real quick. The first method is greenhouse gas injection. This method involves releasing greenhouse gases such as methane and carbon dioxide into the Martian atmosphere to trap heat and warm up the planet. This would cause the planet's ice caps to melt, releasing water vapor into the atmosphere and creating a thicker atmosphere that could support human life. However, this method would require a massive amount of greenhouse gases, and it would take a long time to see any significant changes in the planet's atmosphere. Another method would be asteroid impact. By redirecting asteroids to collide with Mars, we could create a temporary atmosphere and warm up the planet. The impact would release gases trapped in the asteroid, creating a temporary greenhouse effect that could last for several decades. However, this method is little risky and could have unintended consequences, such as creating massive dust, storms that could harm any potential human settlements. The third method would be terraforming plants. By introducing plants to Mars, we could create oxygen and help to create a breathable atmosphere. Plants would also absorb carbon dioxide and release oxygen, helping to create a more Earth-like atmosphere. However, this method would require a lot of water, which is scarce on Mars, and it would take a long time for plants to grow and create a significant impact on the planet's atmosphere. The last and final method would be introducing artificial magnetic field. By creating an artificial magnetic field around Mars, we could protect the planet from solar radiation and help to retain any atmosphere we create. This would involve placing a series of satellites around the planet that would generate a magnetic field, similar to Earth's. However, this method is still theoretical, and it would require a lot of energy to create, and maintain the magnetic field. Terraforming Mars is a long-term goal of humanity to achieve. However, it is an exciting prospect that could open up new opportunities for human exploration and colonization. By transforming Mars into a habitable planet, we could create a second home for humanity ensuring the survival of our species. In conclusion, each method of terraforming Mars has its advantages and disadvantages, and it would likely require a combination of these methods, to make the planet habitable for humans. While terraforming Mars is a complex and challenging task, it is an exciting prospect that could open up new opportunities for human exploration and colonization.